Hello and welcome to the fourth quarter tiny. Here on the exterior you'll see that I've used horizontal cedar. I've used cedar shingles at the top to sculpt the shape and then it also has blue metal siding. The roof is copper metal and there's a couple windows here on this side that are wooden windows which um, add to the beauty of the exterior. Let's take a tour of the inside. When you get to the door, it's a red door with panels of glass. Come on in. Let's start out with the living room. So on the walls, you'll notice horizontal knotty pine planks and they were revived. They're wide and long planks that have been redone with a lap edge and whitewashed. I have a beautiful little couch that's a fold out couch and it's great if you don't want to sleep in the loft, you just pull it out. It's comfortable. For seating, I have a pop-up, pop-down table. Uh, I use it to put my computer on or to eat meals at. Let me see if I can pop it down to show you how it looks without that. Hold on. Here we are with the table folded down against the wall. It makes it a lot more roomier in here. Um, here we have the wood burning stove. It's a Newport by Dickinson stove. It's small and it's really wonderful. It will keep the whole place hot. I've got a lot of post-construction wood that I've saved that I'm including with a tiny many bins of small cut wood. All right, well, let's head off into the kitchen. The kitchen has a cabinet that has been whitewashed and the hardware is leather. Makes it really open, nice for opening and closing. And the cabinets in this tiny are really easy to open and close. The ones in the Tonzo have a soft close. Here I have a, a storage rack on the wall, which I like. It keeps everything close at hand. Good, easy storage. The countertop around the kitchen sink is made of paper stone. It's a very uh, dense countertop and it's fully sustainable. Love it. The sink is a, well, it looks like it could be a farmhouse sink. It's not quite that, but it's got a good depth and easy to use. Um, you'll notice that uh, there are tin tiles behind the stove. I've got a fan. Um, the stove is great. It's made by Avanti and it is a propane stove. It has an oven it's kind of a Euro size, so it's got four burners, but it's on the small side and I love it. It works great. Um, a little bit of storage along with the stove, two more cabinets down below. And then I've also installed a kitchen pantry, which I like. And the reason why I like it, it kind of makes a makes a delineation between the kitchen and the bathroom so that you can't look into the toilet. 
and also it pulls out, let me see if I can pull it out for you here, it pulls out for added storage. Let me see if I can show that to you. Um, yeah, adds. there's a lot of storage in this tiny, which I love so much. So there is the pantry. And then on the other side of the kitchen, I want to show you the fridge. It is a Summit fridge. It is six cubic feet, and it's plenty for a refrigerator for one or two people. It does not have a freezer. Works great. I opted to not have a freezer. And then here we have the Tanzu. And the Tanzu is a large amount of storage. It is underneath the steps. All of the drawers are soft close, which is great. Um, yeah, let me see if I can demonstrate here. And they all work that way, really smooth. No janky drawers here. As we head down the hallway, you will see that I have a double tier closet and that holds quite a bit of clothing. Um, I use a drying rack. I opted to not have a dryer because I don't want to use a dryer. But this holds quite a bit of clothing. Next to that, I have a linen closet. And the linen closet stores all the things I need in terms of bedding, uh, my little Dyson back, which I love, which will come with a tiny. It's awesome. And down below, you'll see that I have a washer. I have a Splendid washer. It was designed for RVs. It's low energy, low water. It's relatively quiet and doesn't vibrate that much. really like it. Going on to the bathroom, I have a vessel sink. And then again, this is the other side of the pantry. So that acts as a divider to the kitchen and the bathroom. I have a beautiful vessel sink um, and then some storage down below. And here we come to the shower. Uh, I actually love the shower. The shower is a Duma wall shower, and I opted to um, put a fiberglass pan in it. I didn't want anything too funky. Um, plenty of room for one person, really roomy, and Duma wall is just <laughs> really strong stuff. It's lightweight. I've chosen a lot of lightweight things in the tiny because I didn't want it to be super heavy. You'll see the underneath the loft, I have the support beams and some wood. And it really looks nice down here. Looking out from the bathroom, this is looking to the front of the tiny. There are tin tiles behind the stove. And then next to the vessel sink, I have a little niche that I put there with some tile um, and a little bit of jewelry storage here. This is where the Nature's Head toilet will go. I don't have it in place right now. I'm currently using um, John Jevons' humanure method. Uh, so I'm using this, but I'm going to install a nature's head, which I already have. All right, let's head down the hallway and go up to the loft.
You'll notice that the stairs going to the loft are made with bamboo and the flooring of the tiny is also a beautiful color of blonde bamboo. I love the way it feels under my feet. You'll see on this wall of the tiny that I used some very um, thin ply. Let me see if I can pull back and let you see the geometric pattern that I used to put it up. It's a whitewashed revolution ply, also really lightweight. And in terms of insulation, I used on-site resources. I had some wool insulation from my van rebuild, and my partner had some insulation. So it's very well insulated. On the ceiling, you'll notice I used all tin tiles. It has a reflective value. It's really lightweight and just makes the tiny feel overall bigger. The lighting in the tiny is two silk pendants that I really love. Let's see if I can show you the other one here. There's two of them and they give a nice, nice light to the space. Okay, let's go up to the tiny loft. So as we go up there, you'll notice that I have a railing that is made out of manzanita. I got it from the forest, sanded it down and oiled it. It's got a really nice feel and it's very secure. So as you're going up the stairs, it doesn't feel scary at all. At the top of the loft, I made the top step big. And the reason why I did that was you can sit there, sit on that cushion and turn your body around. So it's not awkward getting into the loft. I was trying to think of how to navigate it and I like using that. I just sit down on the cushion and roll my legs around. So I'm pretty tall and when I lay in bed, I have clearance for my head. There is a skylight overhead. So as you sit in bed, it's beautiful during the morning. <laughs> You've got light coming in. At the foot of the bed, there's a long window and I've done a, a window covering that allows light to come in but doesn't let people see in because that's where my neighbor is. And this is a lot of blue. I wanted it to have like an ocean feel. There's a small window on the other side for cross ventilation. And there's a couple of round lights. Let me see if I can go back here to the other edge. Oops, sorry. Go back here to the other edge and show you how the lights look. So that's light coming in from the skylight and there's the two lights. There's a queen size bed currently in here. It is a memory foam bed that will go with a tiny. And there's actually enough room in the loft if you had a child or third person, there's probably enough room for another single bed over there. So that could potentially work. All right, coming back around. I'm sitting on the cushion. I do have wire up here in the loft and I wanted, I wanted to have something that would prevent someone from falling down, but I didn't want it to obstruct the view. So there's wire there and it would just hold you back. Um, but I also like the artistic value of it. And this is the view looking down into the tiny. That's the front door. I put in a window above the door that's a, an interesting shape and I also like that for light. What I've done is because I have my tiny in a city, I've done some 
window covering and it easily comes off. I made a, a paper window covering, but I needed to have privacy for my neighbors. So that's why that's there. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tour. And if you're interested in the tiny, reach out. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.